Coming up, Kate Gosselin in tears in an emotional goodbye to her television show. Who she blames for the cancellation and what she'll miss. Plus, after five seasons and 115 episodes, John and Kate Plus 8 is over and out. Tonight, we take you inside their emotional goodbye. It's been a great run. I'm very grateful for the opportunity, for the memories, for the memories on tape. I never had a clear picture of how it would end, but um, I really, I think it's too soon. A bittersweet end to TLC's John and Kate Plus 8. The now single mom appears to blame John for the bitter split. It's sad. It's needless. It's useless. Um, it, you know, it was totally avoidable. I like stuff that we do with mom. All right, you're done. Leave the table. You're done. Goodbye. John puts a lot of blame on himself, too, recognizing his immaturity. I never had that freedom, you know. I just, I met Kate at 20. I got married at 22. I had twins at 23. I had six couples at 27. I just did kids my whole 20s. Our marriage fell apart, and I felt like I was free. About their breakup, Kate says it may have been unavoidable. The truth is, I'm in a completely different boat going a completely different direction. But as she moves into life without John, she does appear to miss him. I don't have him as a teammate anymore. And that fact is not lost on me. It always crosses my mind that I should be in the passenger seat and John should be driving. Has any good come out of this last eight months? Uh, I can say that I'm um, a lot stronger than I thought was ever possible. The thing I've learned is, you know, you make these mistakes, you learn from them, and you move forward. I'm not crying now. I don't like to, I don't like ends. I don't like goodbyes. Kate said she felt like the show was taken from her and the kids and that it all ended far too soon. And I'm sure there are quite a few fans who feel exactly the same way. Now, back to the scandals of 2009 and number two on our list. We called their split the War of the Roses, and it was a scandal so big it led to the end both of a marriage and the television show that made them famous. John and Kate are number two in our countdown. It's very, very, I, it's sad, it's cut short. It's too soon, and um, it's been a great run. And now John and Kate are over. Signs of the end began in May with an avalanche of headlines, one guessing that John and Kate were about to split up. In June, that's what they did. Yes, we uh, have decided um, that we will separate. Kate filed for divorce. Accusations began to fly. Kate claimed John withdrew more than $200,000 from their account. If she said I took $230,000, where's the bank statement to prove it? I'm bringing you guys the bank statement saying I did not take $230,000, I took $22,000. The dispute landed them in court. A few days ago you said I don't want this to turn into the War of the Roses, but isn't that exactly what's happening? That's exactly what's happening. There were rumors of cheating. John and a nanny, John and the tabloid reporter, John and Haley Glassman. There were also reports Kate was having an affair with her bodyguard. It is so unthinkable to me that to have to think about it makes me sick. But John did have a new girlfriend in Haley, at least wait, wait. until they visited here at ET. That's when John got so upset he walked right out of the room. This oh, is a mess. This is a mess and a half. And now the future. With financial and custody issues settled in arbitration, a divorce could be final by Christmas. No one wins in a divorce. My kids, you know, obviously don't win. I don't win, Kate doesn't win. I never had a clear picture of how it would end. But um, I really, I think it's too soon. Now, Kate could be back with her own show. Only time will tell. Now but right now, who is attacking John Gosselin and his 22-year-old on and off girlfriend, Haley? We have their reactions. The website Funny or Die having already spoofed John. I want to meet someone whose haircut is symmetrical and doesn't mind that I already have eight babies. And Kate. I want to meet someone who likes backwards mullets. That's party in the front, soccer mom in the back. Now, Funny or Die, setting its sights on John's on and off again girlfriend, Haley Glassman, in a Match.com dating website parody. I'm looking for someone <laughs> who's half Asian, you know, kind of chubs with hair plugs. I like to party. Mm -hmm. Just like get wasted. Oh, oh. 
How does that make you feel to see that? You were laughing. I mean, it's nothing like me. Uh, I don't even burp. I mean, it was funny when she was like, like, like a gangster. gangster. But, you know, that was like in a, looking for half Asian chubs with hair plugs. Like, that's catchy. I wasn't looking for that. But seeing that video, it, it, it doesn't hit home with you as much as the accusations in the media. Exactly. Like, I have a sense of humor, Chris. Like, stuff like that, like, doesn't bother me. But what bothers me is calling me a homewrecker and things that are not true, being bullied every day, be just, that bothers me. This, this is stupid. I'm not, sen I'm not sensitive. Like, I'm not, a, like, they, that's stupid. You know, you're popular or famous or celebrity when people start making fun of you. Oh, Haley was such a good sport. Now, John Gosselin news. As he enters into arbitration with Kate, is he so concerned with the way he looks that he's ready to consider plastic surgery? We asked the embattled dad. It's being reported in the tabloids once again, Us Weekly, that you want to have plastic surgery. Yes, actually, I do. Is John Gosselin planning to go under the knife? I think someone said that I went to Vegas and I was looking for plastic surgeons. Why would I look for plastic surgeons in Vegas? The father of eight responding to this recent Us Weekly article, which says that the soon-to-be divorced dad is looking to get liposuction to reduce his increasing stomach, Botox to make him look younger, and hair plugs for his balding scalp. Hair plugs. I had hair plugs. Do you was, want more? It was very painful because I was awake. I might do this little thing up here, uh, only because people that are taller than me, which is usually everyone, can see that reflection. So hair you know, plugs, it, yes. only, it only get, it, you know, when I see myself on security cams, you know, I, it's a sure giveaway with that, that ball spot back Yeah, there. I it's know. Like, liposuction. Uh, lipo, no. Stomach stapled. No, I'm not like in the surgery. I don't take aspirin, I don't take Tylenol, I don't, I don't. What about working out? Do you have a personal trainer? Do you have a chef, anything like that? What are you doing to, uh, to chef improve your health? Living in New York. To improve your health? Yeah, I just walk around. Okay, that's good. You know. oh, what about smoking? A lot of people have given yeah, you grief smoke. about smoking. I, I went Something back to smoking. Something that you recently picked up? Oh, as you went yeah. back to it? Yeah. You gonna try to quit again? Yeah. A lot I always of people tell people after like divorce. One of you, you're hooked back in now. Yeah, so that's it's, it. it's tough to get away from it. Botox. For what? I'm Asian. My skin's perfect. But there is one surgery John would like to get, if he could. I want to add two extra arms so I can take care of my kids. <laughs> John Gosselin and Kate, come get your popcorn. <laughs> That's her maiden name. Get out your dysfunctional party hats because John and Kate Plus 8 aired their final episode and did so in dramatic fashion. Kate taught the kids to milk cows and John took them to sell lemonade. Oh, did I say sell lemonade? I'm sorry. I meant verbally assaulted and then scarred them for years to come. <laughs> this clip may depress you, but don't worry. There's a barbershop quartet coming up after it. Mommy has a bunch of yellow highlighted. I like the stuff that we do with mom. All right, you're done. Leave the table. You're done. <gasps> Goodbye. See ya. Don't finish my poster for me. No, your poster's going in the trash can. No. It is. Goodbye. You know what? I think both of you should stay home. I'll sell lemonade. Just stop doing your poster. Why? And stay in the house. Because. Stop. I wasn't doing anything, Daddy. I didn't do anything. It's this. Goodbye. See ya. You're a day. You're a day. It was like some vagrants killed a barbershop quartet and stole their outfits. <laughs> Meanwhile, John and Kate are hammering out the details of their divorce. So far, this is what they've landed on. Kate will stay at home and raise the kids, while John gets bloated in Hawaii and talks to entertainment tonight. Levi Johnson, eat your heart out. Aloha. Just wait, Levi. You look like that. You look like that, too. <laughs> Maybe the follow-up episodes in, like, Playgirl. Follow-up issues, year after year. Don't get married, Levi. That's what happens. Oh, hang loose, John. <laughs> Where is the dry hump? He's the one what took my earrings. I'll pierce its soft bleach flesh again and again until I can drink the raspberry snaps that courses through his vein. <laughs> Yar! <laughs> Yar dick. Yar dick. <laughs> thank you, Napoleon. <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, that's horrifying.